Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are in Ratvik with Jonas. And we're going to work on your follies, on your Vibora and your Bagada today. Oof. In one hour. <laughs> so I don't know if we can manage that and we're going to start with the follies. Insane views here. Holy moly. Ladies and gentlemen, we arrived in Motala. Not a motel, but the city, town, Motala. And what is the best thing about this hotel room is that we have two televisions. So I can watch football. <laughs> and you watch uh, The Bachelorette. Bachelorette. <laughs> Full moon. Full moon. And now I turn the moon off. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, this is interesting. How did you do that? But before we're gonna talk more about the, the hotel and the stuff, I'm just going to address uh, the elephant in the room. Sos, can I, can I sleep on the left, on the backhand side of the bed? So, which country is the best in parking the car? Did you lose the match? <laughs> it's insane. At some point, the entire paddle facility is gonna collapse. So, which country is the best in parking the car? It cannot be Sweden. But anyway, we're at Phoebe Paddle. We're gonna give paddle clinics today. So, we are prepared. We are moving from hotel to hotel. So, our entire existence is in this car at the moment. And the clients are arriving at the moment. So, um, yeah, we're here. Let's see if it's gonna be fun here in the Phoebe Paddle. So we trained yesterday, but now um, clinic's time. I'm the owner of the car. Ah, Phoebe Paddle, let's go. Training time. It's cold as ice today. <sighs> Shoes off. Nice one. You have to take your shoes off, Sasha, otherwise you cannot enter the club. Should I take it off? Very high, this one. Eh? I like this. Yeah, Hans, Hello, Hans. Hello, no, no, no. Nice Hello. to meet you. Same, same. How are you? Fine, fine. You? Good? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Taxi Mickey. Taxi Mickey. Yeah. Hectic yeah, yeah. for you, I think, with the, the four uh, trainings fully booked here. So you will yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's my goal to remember all the names yeah. because I always. <laughs> It's like, hey, I'm swimming, and then it the, the, the disappears again. Mikke. Mikke. Mikke Bral. Mikke <laughs> Nice, okay, perfect. Um, what would you guys like to do? To, to learn? Overheads and basics. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. If we just warm up so I can see if, if how the level is, and then we go <laughs> to... Yeah, judgment day. Yeah. So your best paddle now, because you're on live as well on the camera. Yeah. yeah. So don't worry, we don't cut out the bloopers. <laughs> yeah. The bloopers are the most important. Yeah, just get a few balls. If you just play a few shots. The uh, thing I want to focus on if, you, if I see you play, is that the, the speed that you're using is a little bit the same every time. I think it would be good if we play rallies now. So you'll be at the net, you'll be at the back defending, but you your volley always with a different speed. You defend always with a different speed. If you have one is slow and ten is fast, try to do a lot of twos, some fours and sometimes a seven. And also understand that if somebody plays you speed seven, that you don't play a, t a ten back. Okay, how, how is this? With the variation of the speed? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because maybe when you're playing the match and uh, the match is like tense, you're gonna start playing that fast ball. But if you, if you have pressure, it would be good to play slow. So then it's easier for you. So that's what I feel like that you're playing now. So I'm gonna do one test exercise to also see a little bit how you tactically play, because I've never seen you in a real match before. And you play like a tie break uh, with one rule. The server cannot let the ball bounce. The goal of the defender is that the ball bounces on my side of the court, because then they win the point instantly. If the defender follies, I win the point instantly. So I serve, and your goal is that the ball bounces on my side of the court. So I serve, I go to the net, and you cannot folly. Yes. 
Ooh, very good. So now you already see the point that I've been looking for uh, in the how to play the paddle. Nice, good return. Very good variation. Woo! Okay guys, now we do the same, but it's two against two. So we play a few more points, the ball cannot bounce, and you play two against two. So now I want to see where you play, what speed, what angles. The same thing, but two with two. Same, same, but different. <laughs> Time wasting. Time wasting in the training. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SOS Padel, si sí, senor. Yeah, 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 yeah. The most of you try to slice a little bit too much from the back. And if you can, I don't, don't want to train this today, but I think if you play more spin or flat from the back, you can hurt them more. I think if we Im improve the overheads like these ones, more to the corner, I think you can hurt your opponents more. I think that will be a good item for you to learn today. And the volleys. So they come up a little bit too much or sometimes they float a little bit. I feel like sometimes everybody's in this blocking volley. Yeah. So it's a little bit this. And then you don't use the speed of the opponent because if you play fast to me, I can use your speed. So I don't have to do too much, but I also don't want to de-accelerate the ball. So we need a little bit something in between. Yeah. yeah? So I want to start off with a drill. <laughs> this is the goal. It goes underneath the bench with the bounce. So my goal is that we're not going to accelerate, but it's just going to be like a long, slow volley. So what you, everybody's going to try to do is you're going to put the rope around your left wrist, use both hands close together to make your swing smaller, and the follow through longer. Very good, longer. Rack it back. Try to avoid being here with the volley. Because here I cannot follow through, I will do this. So what we need is at least be here. It would be better to imagine you're on this side of the middle line and that you step to this side. Because now you can see that I, my shoulders are rotating. So my left foot and my left hand, they work together. So if I do this, I have the most control. For everybody, try to prepare also super early. So when I see the ball's forehand volley, I'm already here, two hands, look. So it's here, step and hit at the same time. Do one without the ball, can you step there? Yeah, yeah exact, yeah. Yes. So back in the car we did a lot of clinics. I'm <laughs> a little bit tired to be honest. It was super good. We're gonna move to Lexand SM Gult. We're gonna stay there for a couple of nights and then we go to Borlengen on Monday. Lexand is a very nice place I heard, so I'm very keen to drive there. So we're in Lexand, Lexand Paddle Center. Looks massive, nice. You can even see upstairs. Let's have a look inside. Come. Thank you. Taxi Mickey. Yeah. Thank. So this is wow. Our place. This is part of the club. We uh, they are renting the place from us. Oh. So they are uh, their own business. Wow. Yeah. This this count on the sushi? Yeah. Yeah. As well. Oof. Ten percent. Ten percent. Super four, nice. Four uh, double courts and two singles. Uh, what is this? One point, two points, three points. Okay. Oh, that's too fast. Yeah. Ooh. Two single courts. Two singles. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Kitchen, dishwasher, everything. Yeah. Sauna. Yeah. That's uh, the wooden one. Yeah. Wooden. Oh, nice. Nice, we can do a camp. Yeah. 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 I see possibilities. No, no yeah, we normally drink coffee and water, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> we are boring. boring. I play, no, no. I, I drink like I play. <laughs> boring. To Lexand Strand. 
which there is a resort where we stay. We have never been here before. And it looks very, very nice. And now we are supposed to find out where it is. Should be there. The black house. We have amazing sight, I think. Yeah, we've got the right house. <laughs> the view is insane, eh? This is nice, huh? Holy guacamole. Because you never know where we show up. Because you just go to, eh, hey, we go to Lexant. Okay, I've never heard of a place like Lexant before, but look at this lake. This is insane. There's still snow on there. You hear absolutely nothing here. Nothing. Should we have a look upstairs as well? Because this might be our bedroom. So this is like an extra living room up here. Television. I already know that we should go back here and give clinics. Even if the people don't like uh, paddle. <laughs> we have a spa <laughs> inside the cabin. You gotta be joking me. We didn't, we, <laughs> you don't know where we're gonna end up. I already love every single aspect of this. It's so nice that you just go somewhere and end up in this. It's insane. And that you just show up in a club with, in a place that you don't know and, you, and everybody wants to have like a clinic. Everybody wants to learn. It's insane. I never thought of that the YouTube channel could reach so many people, you know, but you only figure that out if you go to places. Like if we go to Rome, there's people there. If we go to Lexand, if you go to Radvik, if you all the way top to Ore. And look at this place. So we are on ice at the moment. One of the people that I gave lessons to said, I feel like I am Bambi on ice on the paddle court. <laughs> Yesterday we had clinics at Lexand at the paddle club, which is amazing. I don't know if we can watch, walk in here because maybe we crash down the ice. Today we go to Borlenge, which is a bigger city. It's around 50,000 people that live here. This is pretty small. We have been to the supermarket at this place and there was nobody there. It's like the more we drive north in Sweden, the more beautiful the scenery becomes. So Borlänge today and then tomorrow is Oratvik to give lessons. And then we have a small break. We go all the way up to Åre. And before there we also go to Östersund. Okay, so besides paddle, this is the best game I ever played start and zero points for yeah, zero Hi. points you have zero points so three two one so you have to throw all the way to if you can get it here three is the best yeah and, and then sus was like lower level than, than <laughs> one so i'm just gonna just put it in three first take i'm gonna play like softer softer shot like paddle so i have one point and we Hi. both have zero points now. Okay, I might have a problem. Oof, one point. And both, <laughs> <laughs> we both have zero points now. I do it again. Oof. Oh, this was nearly amazing. No. Ooh. <gasps> you have two. Yeah. But I have one more move. Oi! Sven wins. Congratulations. Benga. Okay, now to find the entrance in Holland, this is not possible to build it like this on an industrial area. Okay, Borlinga Paddle Center. Is the coat the same? Can we give the clinics today? We don't know. We don't know the coat. Um, hey, what, what is the code for the, um, the entrance? We're at the wrong ex uh, entrance. How many, how many cords is here? here? 13. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is nice to have a, like a lower cord. Yeah. So now we see if you learned something from, it, from yeah, the videos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So we're done with the clinics today. I hope they learned a lot. Super people. Two single courts occupied. I think that's a good move. And um, they have like a gym in every location. So the same, there's the same owners as in Lexand. Lexand SM Gould, I can only think of. Which means like, I think Lexand is gonna win the league. They are good in ice hockey. But this is the court I was been to. It's nice, you can see upstairs as well. Super gym, two single courts, and they had one extra building. So if you, we can walk over here, check out the other courts. Also want to show the clubs because I think it's important to, for inspiration, because you can, you can get people watching the match from here. Like this is the center court. You can watch down and you can just walk all the way to the end, which I think is good. And they also have this golf thing, which you can just hit against an on your uh, against the screen, which is nice. Yeah, you can just go here and watch. This one has a little bit higher roof, I think. So the sponsors are very visible. I think that looks very professional. Yeah, and the light they, um, they put up all the way and it doesn't really interfere in my vision so it's a good option because if you're gonna build like a court and it's quite high you're gonna lose vision of the ball when you play those high lobs so the placement of the light you have to ask your court builder what is the best solution in my opinion you have to put them a little bit closer to the roof because then you have vision over the entire court but these ones are like spread out a lot with the led light which is extremely important if you want to build a proper indoor court, in my opinion. And I think it's just good to, to have a gym. Because if you have a gym in your paddle facility, you have like this people coming by. So in this club, you, <laughs> you can just get free coffee. So it's not so full at the moment because it's like uh, 8. 8.30, but also people go to bed early in Sweden, so there's not so, so much people now. In this club you can just get your coffee, and it's free. Yeah, so these lights are a little bit brighter, which is not on the top. They're quite bright. I think the other court is slightly better, just because it's more on the roof. It depends on the height of the roof, how high you should hang the lights. And in the other part is more courts. These are the best players! Yeah, you're still around! You! Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I was going to watch if you did everything I said in the lesson. We tried to. Yes. Actually, of yeah. course we did. Yeah, yeah it was good? Sometimes yeah. it's, it went very good. Okay. Yep. And sometimes not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, play, I play very well uh, direction uh, soft play in, in the in cross. Over yeah. cross. Yes. Yeah, so longer rallies. Yeah. Yeah. And less yeah. Yeah. stress. Yeah. That's good. Very yeah. Good. Yeah, so we worked with these legends on uh, playing a little bit slower because everybody tends to play quite fast yeah. and if we just slow, slow, slow and then fast, yeah. it's going to be super. Yeah. So I almost fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, yes, thanks to Miki. Bye, see you all. next time, guys. See you. Yeah. Yes. See you. Yeah, so this is like for your hair. So if you want uh, to have more curly hair, you can just warm up on the cord like this. Also to, to keep your feet down. So this is a good practice to use a lamp to get everybody lower to the ground to train their follies. Touch humor, sorry. So in Warlangen they have 13 courts, and the ones over there, I think they are four or five, they are like with a super high roof. Great people, I like this town area a lot. And now it's time to go home, go chill in the spa, which we have uh, in our house, so that's nice. And then um, learn more tomorrow. Oh. There should be a power club here on the right somewhere. Radvik. Yeah, there it is. Paddle Radvik. And a car wash. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give Paddle Clinics and then Sus, you're gonna wash the car. Alrighty. And we're perfect half an hour before time. Wash and stop. Looks good. Yeah, so we definitely need a car wash. But it's alti toppet. So no worries. Oh, alti toppet. Don't need that. Let's have a look inside. Enter the rund hornet. How's my Swedish? Taxmicke. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Hey. We had to say hello from the receptionist. Oh, oh okay, Rasmus. Yeah, Rasmus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pictures here on the wall. Oh, yeah. What are those? It's uh, all from here, right? Yeah, yeah but this uh, is. Uh, it's That's a uh, ski. country skiing. Country skiing? Yeah. This oh, is, Langlauf. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's tough. This is the uh, old Swedish king, uh, Gustav Vasa. He, oh. he escaped the Danish and 
skied for uh, 90 kilometers, so this is a classic. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. This is I love this. This is our small. We wanted to get this in our house. <laughs> you remember it? Yeah, we got, but we got something else. But this is super. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. What you're doing now, Jonas, is that when you're stepping, you remain here, mm -hmm. and then you volley a little bit up. So we're gonna do one drill to have different footwork every single time you're volleying. Mm -hmm. So to feel the difference. So the first one is you're gonna start here, then you have your left foot here. You play the volley. Mm -hmm. Then the third one, uh, the, the third second. one, <laughs> it's very difficult to count. The second one, you're gonna do it there. So put your feet maybe a little bit next to it and not on it because mm -hmm. you will slide down. This is a dangerous exercise, <laughs> don't try this at home. And then do the th uh, third one there. Mm -hmm. So it's one, two, three, and then step and hit at the same time. Yeah. And we do that because I think you learn from something that is different and not from the repetition. So it's better to do a lot of new things every single time. Yes, good. And now the next step would be that you do it at the same time. So now you're stepping and then you're hitting. Okay. And then it becomes like a hit. And the best possible volley, it's a longer push. Yeah. And I think the step helps you to redirect all the muscles in the same position. Yeah. Your, your step has to be more Spanish, more late. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> nice. I start to move directly uh, to the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then you're already there. Wait a little bit then. And I think then <laughs> your folly becomes more of a, a swing. Yeah. And it, you can do an amazing swing because you're here and oh. But it can also be maybe because you're here and the ball's too fast. Oh, you okay. cannot do anything with the ball. From here, if the ball is slow, you can step. If the ball is fast, you can just block. I was watching the result of the ball yeah, when you were there. Mm. So. You step, if, if your feet are a clock, yeah. <laughs> you, you step towards two, two o'clock. If you step to two o'clock, your folly is the best. Oh. If you're stepping to 11, yeah, you're gonna play upwards. upwards. If you step to 12, oh. it's, it's there. <laughs> uh, so yeah. it, this is possible, but you have to hit it there. Mm. But the best one was here. Yeah. And now I want to work a little bit on to, to force you to hold the shoulders. Like so. Yeah, exactly. And, and not open up. Yes, I'm because a golfer. I'm a golfer. So you're a golfer. That's a it's, <laughs> then. Then it's this is the the best because you should be like chipping. Oh, you're doing the driver. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because with the driver, I I cannot play any golf. <laughs> so if I go to the golf, I can, I only do the driving range. But then I do this and side slice over the net, 200 <laughs> meter. But that's it. So the, to, the and then it's there. And now you want to remain here. Mm. And that's what you want to have there. So what we are going to do is, I'm going to play one ball, you catch it, and then I play the second one quite fast after it, and then you play it there and you hold it. Uh -huh. So we're going to use the left hand, we're going to activate it mm. to rotate your shoulders, to keep the ball lower. You catch, so it's going to be, and you catch it here. Mm. Yeah, so you're going to catch like, uh -huh. yeah. Mm. And then the second one, yeah. <laughs> and it, yeah, it's, hey, sorry. Don't, don't expect to catch because it's not easy. Oh, okay, so you, <laughs> there will be a second one. Anyway. Yeah. Nice. Ah, oh, sorry. I, I just drop it. Yeah, I do it quite fast so the arm is still there. Yes. Uh -huh. That's the trick. Yes. Yes. So it feels like the ball's lower now. And now try to use the step as well. Catch. Step. Catch, step. Nice, that was good. And now play a little bit slower and end more to the direction that you play to. What you're sometimes doing is you folly and then you go uh, there. So it would be better to, to hit and to push the fence. So let's say you hit the ball here. My racket should come from this one. So I go like diagonal. diagonal down. I struggle with this word always. So you go down and, 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 and forwards at the same time. So instead of going there, you go here, 
and you end lower than the net and my shoulders remain the same. We're gonna do a new exercise. I play the ball to, your, to you and you play the forehand volley and you stop. If you hit the fence, it's your own fault. So we're gonna solve this and what would be good is to pressure it against the fence so you always feel like you have the shoulders fixed. So I think this is the easiest way to fix the shoulders. Yes. Nice. 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 Yeah, so this is what you want to imagine. And now your folly was super low, huh? Oh, yeah. If you looked at the result of the ball, it's not coming off the, yeah. the glass. Okay, so we did uh, the Fibra, but it was top level, so we don't have to do it. <laughs> so now we check if we have to do the Bajada. Nice. Nice. Back end. Oh. Nice. Yes, 25 uh, more. Uh. Yes. The first thing I noticed techni technically that you're still and then there. So then sometimes, then you're in a rush. So what you feel when we did the forehand volley that you were not there yet and you go down, boom. Uh -huh. That's the same with the bajada. So I think what you should do is to run more with the racket there. Uh -huh. And you have to choose the speed more on the height of the contact point. Yeah. So if the ball is here because I played one super high ball, yeah. you can hit it higher, you can play faster. Yeah. If you play fast to the middle, they, I don't think they're gonna defend the, the ball. You don't have to play the speed you're playing now, you can play slightly slower if you want. So what I think we have to do is you have to decide, are you gonna do like a vibra from the net or like a bandeja or like a smash? I do it sometimes like I'm, I'm and I just play into the body. But you can also do it like a vibra, so more like this. I think you should copy that your vibra was working. So just do the vibra from the glass and make that your bajada yeah. and play a little bit softer. Nice. Yes. That's good. One is going to be here. Soft, so get soft, yes, on the feet. soft on the feet. On the feet in the middle. This is for me the most used and soft there. Nice. Good one. Yes, this one you did very well. No, that's what so that's like the slice one. Mm. So then this, that is more like a soft. Yeah. Then this one, hit a little bit higher, so you can get it down. And this one is like early, so to spin it. Yeah. So the ball's coming and it's, I, you take it straight after, because you want to hit... Quite uh, low, straight. Um. Yeah, so they are surprised. Mm. So this is also a timing oh. exercise, because if I want to hit there, I have to hit it in front. If I hit there, I hit it next to me. If I hit it there, I hit it a little bit early after the glass. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, take it early. Uh, and now. Yes, yes. Nice. Ooh, nearly. Just push it a little bit longer. Yeah, hold the feet, hold the feet. Yes, you want to remain super sideways with that one. Yes, this is the secret weapon. Only tell it to the subscribers. Yeah, so for this exercise, it's a bagada exercise. Just to improve the bagada, uh, we use multiple cones. So this one is the top spin to the, to the side wall, which is my favorite. I win a lot of points with it. 
don't tell anybody, please. Uh, the middle is more later, uh, so it's going to be more next to you, the contact point. And this is the most used Bajara, and I think most players should use that one. And then we have the one towards the fence. And that one you have to hit very late because the ball's coming off the glass, so you have to hit it in front of you a lot, which is different, but it's good to train that because you learn from adjusting. So that's why we're doing this exercise. Exact! So this is what you want to do. You do it even better than me now. So I'm going to be thinking he's going to play here and that's where you play there. And your partner has to tell you if your opponent is here or here so close or in my opinion half so if he says half you play there or left left close then you're gonna just play here so you should decide where to play the ball depending on your partner's communication and if you make a mistake you blame it on him Is a winner. Thank you for watching. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adiós.